Hello, this is Deirdre from DeirdreMcGuire.com and welcome to week two of our 90 day challenge. So this is day 84 on the countdown and day seven that's completed. Uh, we're starting to move towards the completion and we're moving away from the start line. Now we have a bit to go yet, but that's okay. So it's kind of like the pleasure principle. This is a term that was coined by the Austrian neurologist, Sigmund Freud, when he said that we are always either going away from pain and going towards pleasure. OK, so that's why we have in our 90 day challenge your pain point and your pleasure point. So your pain point is that thing that you don't want to do no matter what. And the pleasure point is what you're going to reward yourself with when you complete your 90 day challenge. So uh, it was very interesting this week watching uh, people on Facebook. Uh, my favorite one was from one uh, one girl who said that uh, when she completes her 90 day challenge, she's going to take her husband on a cruise. And uh, if she doesn't complete it, she's going to send her ex-husband on a cruise. I thought that was really, I could feel the pain in that one. That's really, really good. So it's very important to do that, to create your pain so that it helps you to move forward. Okay, so uh, what do I want to talk about this week? Well, uh, what can happen when we start to get into this is that we actually become distracted. Uh, you know, life shows up, children show up, partners show up, uh, Facebook shows up, uh, bills show up. Uh, uh, life occurs and there are distractions and, and we can uh, lose sight of what we're what we're wanting to achieve. OK, so how do you deal with that? You know, how do you solve that problem? Well, the solution to it is to focus, to, to, to stay focused. So, uh, yeah, that's OK. But how do you do that? How do you stay focused? Well, there are a couple of things that you can do. Um, one of them is to create a vision board. Some of you may have heard of this before, and if you haven't, what you do is you actually create pictures of all the things that you want to achieve in your life. And in this case, whatever your particular challenge is that you want to achieve. OK, so um, you can go to uh, the Internet, you can Google what, uh, what's your why? Say, for example, I use my own example. So I'm going sugar-free. And uh, the reason I want to go sugar-free is because I want to be healthier in my body. And the reason I want to be healthier in my body is because I want to enjoy my life better. And the second part of that is that I want, I'm so passionate about this work, you can tell that. And I want to be the proof for other people. Um, I want to be, if I can do it, you can do it too. And, uh, you know, I have, I've, you know, achieved a lot in my life. I have survived the pain of the suicide of my father and I've survived cancer. I've been through a lot. And now my, my personal journey has become my professional passion. So this is my why, this is why I want to do this. So on my vision board, I want to have the uh, pictures of the life that I want, uh, the shape of the body that I want to have and the uh, energy that that doing without sugar is going to give me and then in turn how that's going to impact the lives of others because this is what I believe, we're all in this together and that's part of this challenge that we're all supporting each other. Okay, so you can imagine what my vision board will look like. I'm in the process of it at the minute and I will show it to you next week. So. Whatever your challenge is, I want you to create um, pictures around it, get a notice board and put all these photographs and, and inspirational words and something that will inspire you when you look at it. Now, vision board is one thing, but the second part that we need to do is bring the vision board to life. Okay, so how are we going to do that? Well, this is what I invite you to do. I've been doing this this week myself. I want you to set a timer, say two minutes, and every day for two minutes, you are going to verbally articulate what it is you want to achieve in the form of future pacing. Okay, now let me explain that. For example, with myself, 
Um, I will say out loud, it all started when I began the 90 day challenge and from there I began to lose the need for sugar in my body and when that happened I got so excited as I noticed the changes in my shape, the energy that I had, the feel good I had in my body and then when that happened so many more people joined the 90 day challenge because they were inspired by what I had done and then that led to a better quality of life for everybody and it was so good. Okay, now you do that for two minutes. What I am doing there is I am assuming the feeling in my body of the wish fulfilled. I am assuming the feeling of, a, of the um, reality of what I want to achieve, that it's already here. Does that make sense? So when you, I tell you, try this. When you do this every day, for two minutes you bring the vision board to life and look at the vision board at the same time if you can and if not well that's okay too but do it bring it to life bring it to life inside you and feel good about it okay so the problem is distraction the solution is focus the action you take is to do the out loud work articulate it verbalize it say it out loud say it if you have a partner you can work together on it if you're on your own you just say it out loud okay and use get your vision board going that's what i want you to do this week get your vision board going and here's the thing that i want to say if you have just found this video and you're only starting it's not too late you start with your day one go to the first video find the instructions there and start in your day one okay and you'll be finishing your day 90 when you finish your day 90 because here's the thing this is what i have set the intention for is that this will continue on and that we will support each other and more people will join this because this work is so powerful and because we need each other this is the key look at the power of this already this week we have 30 people there only from one week and the power of it is palpable okay okay so how do i want to finish this yes i was reading during the week someone said that practice is a set of behaviors that connects us with something greater than ourselves i would challenge that a wee bit i would say practice is a behavior that connects us with who we really are inside okay so keep practicing, keep doing it. I love and support you. Keep uh, uh, sent your putting your comments on the Facebook page because this is amazing and it's going to get even better. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.